Hello everyone, welcome to Teach Tech. I am back with yet another new video. In this new video, I am going to show you how to connect and configure the ActiveMQ with the Oracle database. First of all, let's go to this ActiveMQ download page and uh, download the ActiveMQ. As you can see here, the ActiveMQ is classic 6.1.0. It requires the Java version of 17 plus. First, let me verify the Java version on my machine. Go to your terminal and check for Java dash version. As you can see, the Java version on my machine is 1.8. So this recent version is not compatible to my Java version. So I will go to the past release and download the version 5.13.0. You can choose any of the versions, but I'm going to choose 5.13.0. And now go to this uh, Unix Linux distribution as my machine is the Ubuntu machine. If you are using Windows distribution, download this zip file. I'm using Linux machine, so I'm going to download this uh, file. Apache ActiveMQ 5.13.0 bin.tar.gz It's getting downloaded. Let us wait for a few minutes. Okay, the download has been completed. Let me go to this location. This is the file. Do right click and extract it here. The file is right here. We have the Apache ActiveMQ file over here. Since we are connecting the Apache ActiveMQ with the Oracle database, uh, let us prepare the database first. To prepare the Oracle database, I have uh, used the Docker image of Oracle 19C. To check the docker image, go to your terminal and type docker images. You can see there is an image called uh, Oracle with the tag 19.3.0. This is my Oracle database docker image. Now I'm going to check the container which is uh, related with this image. So this is my container name. Uh, let me start this container which will ultimately start my database to start a container docker start and give the container name enter let me check okay now my database is up and running let me start the database manager sql developer Okay, let me start again. Okay, the database has uh, been started. Uh, let me open a query page using a sys connection. Okay. Now here we are going to uh, create our table space and we are going to create the user required for the ActiveMQ and also we are going to grant all the privileges required for the user of ActiveMQ. I have already prepared uh, some queries. I will just copy it and paste it on the SQL developer. Uh, you can see the query and the first part it's about creating our table space named as AMQ tab 01 uh, it's the table space name and its corresponding data file name is also the same amq tab 01 and this is going to have 50 mb of size which is going to extend on each 10 mb increment uh, so let's go ahead and run this query okay the table space amq tab 01 is created now let's create a user which we are going to use for connecting our database with the ActiveMQ part. Uh, this is the query for it. Create user ATSMQ identified by ATSMQ default table space AMQ tab 01. So this is the table space we are going to use for the user ATSMQ. Uh, we are also going to grant uh, the connect resource and create any view DBA uh, EXP full database IMP full database unlimited table space. 
uh, privileges to ATS MQ. So let's run this and at the end we have commit. Let me run this part. Okay, so the users has been created, uh, the users grant has been succeeded and let's now commit. Okay, we have now successfully created the user required for connecting our uh, instance, database instance with the um, ActiveMQ. To verify if the user has been created or not, let me create a new connection by clicking on this plus icon. Uh, give the name as any name. I'm going to give the same name of the DB user. Let me give the same user name, the same password. And I'm going to use uh, the Docker image. So I will give the IP address of Docker image 172.17.0.2. And the service name is, is EE. Let me test it first. Okay, the connection is working successfully as you can see the success message. Now let's go ahead and hit the connect option. So here we have a ATS MQ connection instance, which is now connected with our Docker image of Oracle 19C database. The username is ATS MQ and password is also ATS MQ. Uh, if you are wondering on how to find this IP address, we can just go to your terminal and uh, give the command Docker inspect and your container name for me container name is oracle underscore oracle 19c underscore ecc so you can see the uh, name as sorry the ip address as 172.17.0.2 and default service name for oracle 19c database is ee that's why uh, the ee is written over here on service name so this connection is successful now let's go back to our ActiveMQ folder, go to conf, you can see this ActiveMQ.xml file, we have to make some changes on this ActiveMQ.xml file, open it with your uh, text editor, go down, on this part you can see a persistence adapter tag, this part is explaining that the current ActiveMQ is using its default database which is called as KahaDB. But we are not going to use this default database, but instead of that, we are going to use the Oracle 19C image. So I will comment this uh, persistence adapter part. Let me comment it out. And now let me add a new command for the persistence adapter for Oracle database. Let me copy it and paste it over here. Uh, don't worry, I will provide you all these tags. You can check out the description box below. So uh, this part is for connecting our Oracle database with the ActiveMQ. Uh, as you can see, the data directory will be ActiveMQ.data, which is uh, this folder, data folder. And uh, we are going to use Oracle data, data source Okay, so again, we need to add another configuration part on the activemq.xml, which is this bin code. Here you can see I have configured this uh, JDBC URL where I have added the uh, IP address of my Docker uh, container of Oracle database. This is the port number and this is the service name. This is the database username and this is the database password. So let me copy this entire code and uh, paste it just right down below the jt.xml part okay so uh, the username the password is the same you need to verify if your username and password is same with here and uh, here so the username and password has been uh, added now this is the database url let me save this changes on the new file so we have just added the persistence adapter part and also we have added this db connection part make sure the database url database username and database password as you can see now we are going to use the oracle database 
there is a driver that this code will now search which is called as the oracle jdbc driver which should be placed on the leaf folder right now there is no ojdbc driver found here we need for that we need to go to your browser and uh, go to this url i'm again i'm going to provide this url on the description box below please go and check it out uh, since i'm going to use uh, the jdk8 as i already showed you on the uh, terminal part i will download this ojdbc8.jar and place it inside the leaf folder of activemq download it okay uh, let me select the location i'm going to select the location of leaf this is the default location where you need to place this jar file click on save okay so finally we have uh, completed the database configuration part from database side and also we have made some changes on activemq.xml now let's uh, check either our connection and configuration part between the activemq and between the oracle database has been successfully done or not for now uh, we have no any logs of written over here this is zero bytes so let me go to bin uh, go to linux 86 uh, 64 and open the terminal right here now uh, let's run this activemq part dot slash activemq space start okay uh, let's go to now our browser page and check for localhost colon the port number is 8161 okay the page is now opening up the 8161 is the default port number of the activemq um, software uh, to change it you can go to this conf part uh, go to this jt.xml open with your text editor and uh, if you go down you can uh, see uh, the port number value over here if you want to change the default port number you can change the port number right here so as you can see the page is opening up if you want to go and check the admin page go uh, on the url bar and type slash admin the username is admin and the password is admin this is the admin page and now let's see uh, if uh, any the, if there are any changes on the sql developer if you go to uh, this sql developer and click on this refresh button okay and if you expand this table part you can see these three tables has been formed activemq underscore acks which is ActiveMQ Acknowledgement, ActiveMQ Lock, and ActiveMQ Messages. So now all the uh, messages that is uh, pending from these queues or the list of queues or every detail is now will be recorded on this SQL Developer Database Table, Oracle Database Table. So with this, we have successfully configured our ActiveMQ to run with our Oracle Database. For this Oracle database, we have used our Docker image. You can use our Docker image, which you can find on Docker Hub as well. And I have used this uh, SQL developer for managing this database. And I have created a user using this command. Uh, and before that, I have created a table space by using this query. After that, I created a uh, using DB user and DB password using this query. I will provide you all of these queries and the configuration part inside this activemq.xml on the description box below. So with this, you, you can successfully connect your activemq application with the Oracle database part. So I hope you like this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel and comment uh, your thoughts on the comment box below. So see you on the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.